Hello, hello, everybody. This is Milky. Welcome back to another Store of the Season Pioneer of All of Tongue Tips video. I did got a lot of questions in the comments about what are my recommended favorite items to give to the marriage candidates. So today I'm going to go through a lot of marriage candidates' favorite items and their liked items, my recommended gifts, and how to get those gifts. If a marriage candidate have a really hard to get loved items, I would also recommend some substitution liked items that's easier to get and you can start gifting it in early game. The liked item are one level below loved item but it's still pretty useful if you gift it to that character early on and uh, consistently doing it daily. Hopefully this guide will be helpful to get better relationship with the marriage candidate you love and let's get started! First, let's go through Yori who is my husband in game and you can see I got pretty good relationship with him. For Yori, if it helps you remember, he has two hobbies, one is fishing, the other one is mushroom. So he likes variety of mushrooms, but his favorite one was this mushroom called Matsutake. But we can only unlock it if we reach wood cutting level 9, which is pretty hard and uh, probably you only get to do it later in game. Another thing Yori love is shiny watch. It's an item that a lot of town people has as their favorite item, but it's quite expensive. You can make it yourself later in game by using 20 silver bar, 5 gold bar, and 1 diamond. Yes, it is super hard to make and expensive, so I wouldn't recommend to do it earlier in game too. Another thing Yori also love is rice ball, but it's a recipe that we can only unlock after we get cooking level 10. So yes, Yori is actually kinda hard to do uh, for his loved items, which is why I would recommend one of his liked items that's much much easy to get, which is soy sauce. So in order to get soy sauce, all we need is just grow some soybeans. All we need to do is put the soybean into our sauce maker and ta-da! We'll be able to make some soy sauce. So let's uh, give to Yori his gifts. I think this time Yori usually stays at home and eat his lunch. Hi Yori! And uh, let's give him one of his favorite items which is the Matsutaki. He'll be pretty happy about it. There you go! <laughs> If you are super early in game and you can't even make soy sauce yet, then I would recommend grilled fish which is super easy to make. All you need is some random fishes and grill it and that's something he likes a little. It's not fully like but it's pretty useful early in game too. Next up, we have Emilio. He loves jewelry locket and the fashionable bracelet. Both are cheaper and easier to make than the fashionable bracelet. So if you have money, I would recommend just buy them in the general store instead of making them yourself and gift it to him daily. Another thing he likes is a sunflower. So that one is easy if you're in summer and just grow tons of sunflowers and give it to Emilio. That would be pretty helpful. If sunflower is hard to get for you, you can also get jewelry ring which Emilio likes and you can buy them from the general store, it's pretty easy. If you're still early in game and jewelry sunflowers are too hard to get, then I'd recommend things that he likes a little which is shellfish soup and grilled fish. As usual, grilled fish is super easy to get, all you need to do is some fishing and shellfish soup, all you need is pick up some shellfishes by the sea and make a soup for him. If you are in super early game, I'd say shellfish soup and grilled fish is the way to go. For today, since I bought a lot of jewelry locket and this is uh, Emilio's loved item, I'm going to gift it to him. He's pretty happy about it and he says thanks. I really can't take it. I'm so happy that I want to run around. Well, glad to hear that Emilio. Next up, we have Jack who loves almond, shiny watch, which of course you'll find it in a lot of people's loved item because shiny watch is expensive. And then we have the giant bear coughing, which is pretty funny. So for Jack, I usually would recommend almond because that's a fruit that we can start growing during summer. Just plant more almond trees during summer if you want to get better relationship with Jack. And then another thing is the giant bear carving. The giant bear carving is pretty easy to make. All you need is just 30 strong wood. And you can basically go to the forest every day, chop some woods, make this one for Jack. You, you can increase your relationship with Jack while increasing your wood cutting skill. Why not? That's pretty good. Now we come to Jack's liked item. He likes pumpkin, pudding, coffee, jewelry ring, and old coin. 
Out of all of those, I would recommend jewelry ring just because it's really easy. You can buy from the general store. When we go through the gift, you will actually find out there's a few things that show up over and over, such as jewelry ring, jewelry locket, fashionable bracelet, and the, the shiny watch. These are the few things that a lot of people like. You can buy them from the general store. If you want to like make a good relationship with everybody, I would just recommend buy a bunch of them and gift it to people. Of course, that's something that you only want to do later in game. During the early game when I was super poor, all I did was just carry a bunch of stones and grass and give to everybody a grass or a stone whenever I meet them. It's also really helpful in early game. Of course, we want to upgrade our gift when we get richer later in game. And here's Jack. I love how he's selling the wood carving, and one of the wood carving he's selling is his favorite item. Hey, Jack! And I'm going to give him the giant wood carving. There you go. He loves this thing. And Jack says, Thank you. Can I really accept these gifts? It's like dreaming. Well, no problem. Next up, we have Damon. He loves coffee, fashionable bracelet, and shiny watch. Out of all those, I would recommend coffee because shiny watch and fashionable bracelet are decently expensive. And for coffee, all we need is just a coffee powder and then we can make it. I did got a few questions in the comment asking how do we get coffee? So we can only unlock the coffee recipe after we reach the cooking level 5 and then you will automatically get the coffee recipe. Then another thing you want to make sure is to grow a decent amount of coffee trees early in the spring and then save all those coffee beans. Then you can use the processes to process those coffee beans into coffee powder and ta-da! You can make coffee for Damon every single day. If coffee is hard for you to get early in game because you don't have enough cooking level yet, I would recommend some of his liked items. So Damon likes black pansy, white alpaca clothes, or recalcon ingot, which I would never never recommend the give gifted to Damon. Cause Orichalcon is pretty rare and uh, you you're better off buying a shiny watch than giving him a Orichalcon ingot. And another thing that I give to him a lot is Ruby. We can get Ruby pretty early in game. All we need is just mine some Ruby ore and then use the processors to process it into Ruby and gift it to him. Another thing he likes, funny enough, is coffee pudding. But I also won't recommend that item because if you can make coffee pudding, you're better off just make coffee, which he loves rather than like. If most of those liked items are also hard to get, funny enough, there is something he likes a little, which is grass. Yes, he likes playing grass. So if you want to gift him early in game, just pick up some grass on the ground and he'll like it. Here we go, let's gift Damon his morning coffee. It's so rare to see him actually sit down on his sofa and he says you're giving such amazing gift to me, that is awesome. Well, no problem Damon. And the next one we have is Ralph. So Ralph is actually kinda tricky cause he only have two favorite items, one is fashionable bracelet. And his second loved item is potofu, which is a French dish that he loves. And uh, it's a dish that we can only unlock when we reach the cooking level 10. So I think it's gonna be pretty tough. I would recommend just buying the fashionable bracelet from the general store. Let me actually show you guys these common love and liked items that's sold by the general store. I will just buy 10 each, so it's easier to go through it with you guys. Fashional bracelet is not too bad. It's four thousand dollar, uh, four thousand gold per bracelet, but it's much better than the shiny watch, which is so expensive. And crazy enough, there are some characters who only have one loved item, and that's shiny watch. I'm looking at you, Nigel. He only has one loved item, and you're basically forced to give him a shiny watch if you want to give him a loved item during his birthday. Hello, Ralph. Uh. How are you doing? And here's your fashionable bracelet. If you find it hard to give uh, Ralph his loved item, which is the fashionable bracelet, he actually have a lot of uh, easy dish that he likes, such as shellfish soup and bread, and also mixed soup. So Ralph is actually a pretty easy candidate to get good relationship with, just because uh, shellfish soup is one thing that we can unlock pretty early in game and really easy to make. 
And that covers all our male candidates and let's go to our female candidate. The first one is Bridget. Since she loves animals, her loved items is going to be related to animal product too. For Bridget, she loves top quality milk. It can be milk, buffalo milk or goat milk. You can see here I have 7 top quality goat milk which I'm going to gift it to her. And then another thing she loves is the jewelry ring which is pretty easy to get from the general store. And then she also loves top quality egg, short cake. Um, I think those ones are harder to get and I will probably just recommend gifting her jewelry ring. Hi Bridget, here you go, have a jewelry ring. By the way, if Bridget's liked item is a bit hard for you at your current progress, you could always give her fodder, which she likes a bit but is super easy to get from the general store and it's pretty cheap. Next up, we have Reina. So Reina's loved item is a lemon, jewelry locket, fluoride, and authorite. Personally, I would recommend the lemon and the jewelry locket. For lemon, you just need to grow tons of them during summer. So if you like Reina, remember to grow a lot of that. Or you can always buy jewelry locket, which is not that expensive either. Hi Reina! For this video, I'm going to gift Reina her jewelry locket. <laughs> You can see that if we just have the jewelry ring, jewelry locket, bra fashionable bracelet, and shiny watch, you can cover a lot of the town people, but they do cost a decent amount of money. Next up, we have Blair. She likes daisy, diamond, and also fashionable bracelets. Ta-da! I think I'm just going to give her the fashionable bracelet. And she also loves rose. Hi Blair, here's your fashionable bracelet. And for the liked items, she likes rose, cherry, vegetable salad, tea, and jewelry ring. Out of all of that, I would probably recommend jewelry ring and vegetable salad. For vegetable salad, you can probably use the cheapest vegetable you got to make that dishes a lot. Or tea, but tea, personally, I think it's uh, harder to make because for the tea, you need to grow the tea leaves and it takes quite a while in order to get some tea leaves. So jewelry ring and the vegetable salad sounds like the best deal. Next up, we have our Ling. She loves mango, mango juice, mango jam, you get the gist. She basically loves mango. Since she likes the plain mango, I would recommend gifting that instead of processing it into juice or jam. And another thing she loves is the jewelry locket. So these two items are both pretty easy to get and I would recommend just to give her the jewelry locket. And then for the liked items, she, her most of her liked items are actually pretty hard to get, such as illusion fabric. I would never recommend gifting illusion fabric to for that purpose. Uh, the only thing she like out of her liked item is tea. That's probably easier to make. She also like a little about tunips, but that's getting harder. But honestly, since her liked and the like little items are not easy to get, I think mango and the jewelry locket is definitely your best bet. Now, ta -da, da da last but not least, we have Laura. She loves olive, tuna, and fashionable bracelet. Honestly, I usually give to Laura olive because I grow a lot of them during summer and if you like Laura, I would recommend that too. You can see a lot of characters like fruit trees. So if you have a character, I would recommend take a look at what fruit they like and remember to grow that fruit tree during the season. And another thing she loves is the fashionable bracelet, which I happen to have it on her, on me. You can see after I got the jewelry from the general store, I was able to gift every girl their loved item without going back home and specifically get a special item for them. And for Laura, if you find out her loved item is kinda hard to get, she also likes sunflower, vegetable juice, and jewelry ring. Out of all Laura's liked items, I'd recommend the vegetable juice for the same reason. All you need is just some vegetable, and then also jewelry ring, which are pretty easy to get. And ta-da! That's all our marriage candidates! I definitely hope you find today's video helpful. And please let me know if you guys are interested for a tips video that covers all the loved and liked items for the villagers and the gifts that I'd recommend for them. I would love to do one for them too. Well, thank you guys so so much for watching today's video. If you do enjoying it and want to see Miyuki make more tips videos, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much. 
so so much for watching and as always i'll see you guys next time